everybody, so the video this week is on fleece versus bedding. So when you get your new cage, um, you will need to think about what sort of bedding you would like, because you can't really have a cage without bedding, because the guinea pigs need a soft um, bottom of the cage to relax on. Um, it also makes sweeping up poo easier and stops the cage from being stained. So you do need some kind of bedding. So usually there are three different types of bedding that are most popular. One is fleece. Now fleece um, is used in lots of different ways. You can either have fleece flippers which are different fleece pads um, usually two by one foot long so if you have a two by four foot cage you will need four of those um, fleece flippers. Basically they're a bit like a pillow case. If you imagine a pillow case made out of fleece, inside you've got um, a, ta a folded towel and inside the towel you've got a bit of torrets for strength. Um, now when you have fleece flippers, when they're dirty after a few days you just flip them over. So um, it, it's easier than cleaning out a proper cage bedding like this. So, but you can just flip them over after a week and then after a few days after them being flipped over you then put them in the wash. Um, another way to do it is a cage liner. Now a cage liner is basically one big fleece flipper that is made to fit the cage. It's a bit like a very large pillow case that doesn't have an opening unlike a fleece flipper. Um, you can't really see any of the guinea pigs at the moment. Josh is just here. Just there. But he's just relaxing at the moment. But a fleece flip, um sorry, a cage liner is basically just one big fleece flipper. And after a few days you just roll it all up and put it in the wash. Okay, so another way to use the leaf flippers, um fleece bed in is just have a fleece blanket in the cage. Now, when you have fleece flippers or cage liners, you have towels um, under the fleece. So if you're not having any fleece flippers or cage liners, you and just having a fleece blanket, then you will need what's called an underbedding. And an underbedding is basically one or two towels that are lined on the cage, and then you put the fleece on top. And now you can cut the fleece to measure the cage size, or you can hook it over the top. So this is what we've done here. We get one of these pegs, and we simply just hook it on like that. Now, as you can see, we've done it for this side and this side, but we haven't done it here or here. Um, now you can cut the fleece, it's just there is a possibility that it will be a bit frayed if it's not cut properly. So you do want to make sure that it is cut properly and it's not frayed so the guinea pigs can't burrow under it. Now burrowing the fleece is quite a big problem. Um, it's basically when the guinea pigs decide to burrow under the fleece bedding and either play on the towels or the actual cage bottom and this can't really happen because when my guinea pigs do it at least they turn all their toys over they tip their litter tray over and their food bowl and it gets a mess and if it's say a really hot day summer's day you don't want them to be under there and then not know how to get out because they could overheat so a lot of people do put bricks and stones in the cage, but I'm just using parts of their old playpen and these turrets boards. So these boards are just turrets that has been cut to size and basically it stops them from burrowing in that corner and this corner. Because my guinea have learnt to pull the fleece down, so it's been a bit of a pain. Um, so Fleece is quite a nice bedding because one, it fits in with any room design, two, it's really soft and cosy, and three, it's more um, environmentally good, if that 
matters. But um, it is also cheaper because fleece lasts for years. It can last for a neighbor's lifetime when it's cleaned properly. Um, because with bedding, you're chucking out loads and you're obviously buying loads and loads and loads. But with fleece, you can do with just a few um, towels and fleece blankets and you're done for the deepest lifetime. So it is much more um, cheaper and easier to use. Now, you may think that fleece isn't waterproof. Well, waterproof is obviously a big deal. You can't just put a fleece blanket into a guinea pig's cage because for one the guinea pigs will be on it and the water will just roll around um, two is that um, <gasps> sorry about that okay so yeah it will just roll around on the fleece and it will obviously be very comfortable so if you wash the fleece on a 30 to 40 degree wash using mild detergent and no fabric softener you will break what's called a water barrier and that means that water will literally just come through the, through the fleece and onto the towels which will soak it up and when it goes through it leaves the top dry Hedge boy you're coming out it leaves the top of the fleece dry and makes a good um, safe environment. So you do need to wash the fleece quite a few times. Um, it's uh, it depends on how well you wash your fleece. Um, you it's recommended you do it sit there, yeah, sorry, two to five times, and then this will sort of break the water barrier and make sure that the guinea pigs have a comfortable environment. Okay, so another thing that can be a problem with fleece is that it can get very messy. You need to do what's called spot cleans twice a day, or at least twice a day. Basically, you get loads of hay, poo, all lying on top of the fleece. But even though you do have to do spot cleaning with other bedding, it sort of hides the poop, like if you use hay bedding it sort of hides it. But with fleece it's obviously on show. So it is very important that you do um you do spot cleans twice a day and spot clean is basically just sweeping it up with a dustpan and brush and then disposing of it. Um so fleece is quite cheap. It's cheap to buy. Um you do have to wash it in a washing machine. And it is possible that you will get hair and hay on it when you wash it. And that, you know, will happen. But if you shake the fleece out outside before you wash it, you then use a small hoover, lint roller or dustpan and brush. And then you put it in the washing machine in a, a duvet or laundry bag. You will stop the possibility of your washing machine clodding up. So yeah, I do enjoy fleece. It can be hard work sometimes because it needs to be cleaned out every three to four days where with other bedding you could sort of manage a week with it. But you know, it has its pros and its cons. But it looks nice, it's good for the guinea pig's feet. It doesn't hurt their internal organs or their their soft feet pads. So yeah, I think it is very good, um, but it's up to you, you know, if you haven't got enough time to spot clean or wash it every few days, then I don't really think that fleece is right for you. But it is the most popular bed in, and if you have a CNC cage, it's the best one to go for, because fleece bedding was specially designed for um, people with CNC cages. Because in a small cage or a hut, it just won't work and it will stink. The good thing about fleece as well, with regular washing, it won't smell. Because um, the bigger the cage, the less smell there is, especially when you're using fleece. Now, some of the other most popular beddings in the UK um, are hay bedding and shavings bedding. So hay is basically having 
this here all over the cage. It's basically lining newspaper, thick piles of newspaper, and then put in piles and piles of hay on top, and that's your bedding. Obviously, it's quicker to do, but there is the possibility of it going through the sides of the cage, if you have a CNC cage or a hutch. It can be hard on a guinea pig's feet, and you do need to um, always have a hay rack, because obviously all the hay is very important for them to eat, but as it's their bedding, they're pooing and weeing on all the time. So you do have to actually clean out the cage every day. You have to take out the poo spots every day. But a proper cage cleanup can be done about once a week. But no, lot, no nail of that. Obviously with hay mixed in with poo, wee, food, water and left in a cage will obviously smell. So you may find it easier and nicer on your and the piggy's nose if you clean it out every three days. Um, with hay bedding you can't have cozies. So, so this is a cozy. You probably have seen this before. It is basically a fleece toy. You can get baskets, sleeping bags, tunnels, forests, bunk beds, there are pads. There are just loads of different fleece toys you can get. Um, if you have a fleece toy on a hay or shavings cage, then it will just get covered in hay, covered in shavings. And as you do need to readily wash toesies as well, um, you'll also get shavings and more hay into your washing machine, which, you know, can clod it up. But cozies are great for the guinea pigs to sleep in. Mine loves sleeping in it. Um, but playing in it, resting on it, hiding food in there, it's really good. And it's it's kind of not a good idea to have cozies in a hay or shaving cage. So you are sort of missing out on that. Yeah, demonstrate. There you go. So I did buy a rabbit sized one, <laughs> as you can see. But it just means that two of them can go in at the same time. Aw, you resting boy. Okay, so another um, aspect of hay is that you will have to chuck a lot of it out quite often. Um, you've obviously, you know, if you clean it out once a week, you're chucking a massive cage load of hay, poo and wee out. And then you have to refill it, so you're buying loads amount of hay newspaper where if you're using fleece and are just having a hay tray like mine then you are just buying a, a part of newspaper and a and a hay bale every every two to three weeks where you'd have to buy hay newspaper a lot more if you were doing a hay cage um, you are obviously chucking more out and it is much easier to put it on your compost or vegetable patch which you can't really do with fleece so if you are growing plants or stuff it might be faded for compost and I don't know but um, I have used hay before I find it messy and really smelly so it's up to you what you want to use but I definitely recommend fleece Okay, another type of bedding you can use is shavings. Shavings is basically, you can go to your local pet store or farm and you might find a big bale of yellow wood shavings. Um, these can be really hard on your guinea pigs' feet, really hard on their internal organs, their lungs, because they can get into their mouths. Um, it's also really messy, really smelly, expensive, and if they eat it, it can be quite dangerous. I have used it before though, and once the shaver's bell was finished, I didn't buy it again. Because I didn't like it because it went super quickly. Um, it is very expensive, and it's hard on their feet as well, so... Yeah, I don't really like shavings, but quite a lot of people use it in kitchen areas. It's okay if you use it in certain areas of the cage. But if they're on it full time everywhere they go, then it won't be very good for them. But a lot of people use it in lofts, 
and kitchens in their cages and that's fine because they're not on it full time as long as they do have something soft like fleece um, for bedding on other parts of their cage. Um, with shavings you just pile newspaper then you put the shavings on, thick layer of shavings and then you put the hay. So again you're chucking a lot out but um, yeah it's very expensive and dangerous yeah I don't like shavings but again it's up to you okay so what bedding you choose is up to you fleece I definitely recommend I would definitely put fleece as my first hay as my second and shavings as my third favourite bedding these are the most popular in the UK but you can also get wood pellets wood shavings um, or tear fresh in the um, USA but um, I've never used them so I can't really put my verdict on them but just a quick note if you are buying shavings then don't buy cedar shavings buy um, kiln, kiln dried and if the shaving belt has a strong smell of pine then don't buy it because um, that can be very dangerous to the guinea pigs and everybody, thanks for watching. See you next time. Please comment and subscribe. Okay.